Hello there, Taurus. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of July 13th through the 19th. I am using my Russian tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And what we have coming up for Monday, Taurus, is we have the King of Coins. A couple of things going on there Monday. First of all, Taurus, I feel like you are going to be feeling very generous towards some other people in your sphere of influence. For many of you, this feels like family that you're going to be feeling very generous and taking some kind of generous action towards. Um, but for other people, for others of you, this may not be family. This may be somebody that you work with or close friends, but it's somebody that's closer in your sphere of influence that you're going to be feeling very generous with and wanting to do something nice for on Monday. Now on two, on um, that, oh, excuse me, I want to move on to Tuesday, but really there's also another thing coming in. There's another way that this could manifest for some of you tourists, and I do feel like this is a 50-50 split. So some of you are going to be feeling generous yourselves. Others of you are going to have somebody show up in your life on Monday who wants to be generous with you. Maybe they want to take you out to dinner. Maybe they want to uh, buy something nice for you. Maybe they want to um, give you something beautiful or um, pay for a vacation for you or who knows what. But anyway, they want to be generous with you on Monday. So there's a couple of ways that that is going to manifest. For some of you, you will be the generous one. For others of you, um, you will be the recipient of somebody feeling generous. And there are some of you actually 20 to 40 percent, really quite a, quite a bit, that um, will have it both ways. You'll be generous and you'll be the recipient of someone being generous to you. Now, Tuesday... King of Clubs. I love this card. Okay, so Taurus, this is just talking about Tuesday. You're going to be feeling very inspired. You're going to enjoy what you're doing. You're going to feel like what you're doing is for a good reason, for a worthy cause. You're going to feel very motivated to keep working with it and um, working towards whatever the goal is that you're working towards. Um, and you're just going to be feeling very good about what you're doing. And in that feeling good about what you're doing, you're actually wanting to do more. And so it's kind of this cycle that builds upon itself on Tuesday for you. And it's a really, it's a good thing because it makes you feel really good. So that's your Tuesday. Wednesday, we have another really awesome card for you. This is a Major Arcana card. This is the Star card. And this is telling me, Taurus, on Wednesday, that you're going to be feeling very much in touch with your reality, also very much in touch with um, cosmic intelligence or the universe. Um, so this is a really good place to be. This kind of it is a picture of somebody who knows their place in the universe, who knows how important they are to God, to put it in another way. Um, this is somebody who has an idea of what direction do you want to be going with your life? And when you have that kind of information really flowing and working inside of you, it makes it much easier for you to make decisions about who you want to spend time with, where you want to spend time, what you want to spend time doing. So decision making is much easier around you. Now, does this mean that life is easy? No. <laughs> but it means that you know, you have a really uh, much better idea than you have before of your part, your place in life. What is your significance? Why are you here? What are you here to do? And so that's what makes the decision making easier because you kind of have your own mission statement going on. All right, so that's Wednesday. Thursday, what we have showing up is we have the Queen of Coins in Reverse. Okay, so a couple of things going on here on Thursday. Interesting. Okay, and these are both very similar, actually. So, some of you are going to have have the Queen of Coins in Reverse manifest in this way. Some of you have a situation where you have been being generous to somebody uh, for a, a certain period of time. Okay, so this is not a new situation. All right. It may have just been going on for a week for some of you. For some of you, this may have been going on for two, three, four plus years. But you've been being very generous to somebody in your life. And at this point on Thursday, it feels like to me, for those of you who it's manifesting as an older situation, like you're realizing, wait a second, this person is taking advantage of my generosity. And maybe it didn't even start out like that, but now it has become that for some of those, for some of you in this situation. And so when you realize that this person is taking advantage of your generosity, now you're just shutting that down. That's enough. 
no more generosity for you, at least not in that area where you feel taken advantage of. Okay, so that's one way that that pans out for you, Taurus, is on Thursday. Now, there's another way that this is going to pan out for other Tauruses. So some of you are going to have a, a sort of similar situation. It is going to have to do with generosity, and it's going to have to do with other people wanting to use your generosity. In other words, they want to take advantage of your generosity. So on Thursday, I feel like there are some people who would like to um, when I say take advantage of your generosity, I don't mean that in a nice way. I mean that they want to see what they can get from you and get as much as they can from you and um, move forward on your back, basically. And so what you want to do is you just want to be very aware on Thursday about, okay, what are people's motivations who are wanting things from you, whether it's financial or whether it's emotional, sometimes people really take advantage of emotional support just as much as financial support. So you just really want to be aware of what are people's motivations? Do you trust where they're coming from? What is your gut feeling on these things? Um, because I feel like if you're not careful about who is actually legit and who is not, and I'm not saying that there aren't legit people out there because there are a lot of legit people out there that just need help and who are very genuine. Um, but you just want to be very careful on Thursday because there is someone out there who is looking to take advantage of your generosity. Okay? So, that is Thursday. Now you have the heads up. Friday what we have showing up is we have the Emperor. And I feel like the Emperor is somebody that you're going to be interacting with on Friday. Bossy, bossy man. <laughs> For some of you, um, this bossy man actually has a lot of good integrity. I shouldn't say for some of you, in all of these cases, this bossy man has a lot of good integrity. This is somebody that you know what to expect with. So, he has very certain expectations of what he wants from you, whether you're a member of his family, whether you're a member, member of his shop at work, whatever it is, okay? As long as you meet those expectations, and they're pretty reasonable expectations um, for the most part. As long as you re reach those expectations, you will not have any trouble with this person. They will respect you. If you don't meet those expectations, then you're going to have problems with this person because he's not going to be quiet about it. He's going to be telling you, hey, how come dot, 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 you know, so this is somebody that you're going to be interacting with on Friday. So as long as you've got, you know, all your I's dotted and your T's crossed, great. This is going to be a nice, positive, affirming affirmation um, interaction. And if you've just been kind of slacking and lazing and just doing only what you need to do to get by, then this is going to be um, not quite as pleasant of an interaction with this person on Friday. And this person is a male who is an authority figure. He can be an authority figure in a family or at work or um, even in some kind of organization. Okay, so that was Friday. Saturday what we have showing up is we have the sun coming up in reverse. So the sun in reverse. Okay, so what I'm hearing about Saturday is eating humble pie. The sun card really talks about ego. And so when we've got ego in reverse, we've got humility coming in on Saturday. So it feels to me like there's some kind of bragging that's been done, like the ego has kind of gotten a little bit out of check for some of you Tauruses, and you've been bragging and talking about, well, I can do this, I can do that, blah, blah, blah. And then there's a reality check that comes in on Saturday is what I'm feeling off of this card. So you've got a reality check coming in that makes you go, oh, maybe I can't quite do as much as I thought I could, or handle as much as I thought I could, and so um, it's a little bit of eating humble pie, of realizing, okay, well, I'm human, and I guess I have to acknowledge that now, that type of thing going on on Saturday. Now, Sunday, two of clubs showing up in reverse. This just means you have a decision to make on Sunday, and you're having a hard time with this decision. Now, this decision, I've seen this decision come up as being between two or three people. I've seen this decision come up as being between two or three activities or projects. But there's something going on where um, 
you're very attached to both of these things or all three of these things you're trying to decide about. However, you can't do all two or all three of them at the same time. You can only do one. And so you have to choose one on Sunday to be able to go forward with any of it. Um, because otherwise you're just not going to have enough energy to put into all of them. And what I'm seeing is that Sunday you're really procrastinating on this. And I feel like you're not making this decision. Um, sometimes I feel like, okay, well, the decision will be made like the next day or late Sunday. I don't get that. What I'm feeling here is that the way this energy is riding in is that this decision is not made. And what happens is because you refuse to make the decision, <laughs> you refuse to uh, focus your energy on any one of these three things. And for a lot of you, it does feel like three and not two. Um, because you refuse to focus the energy, your energy is scattered and you don't get to go very far with any one of these things. Okay, so, you know, now here's the deal. Now you've got a heads up. You've seen this reading hopefully ahead of time. And so when you start to see this coming in, hopefully you'll realize, well, it's really important that I make a decision so I can move forward with something here today. And you'll be able to go ahead and do that instead of just procrastinating with it. So good luck with that. And let's see, that is your week, Taurus. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, feel free to check out my website. I am at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you've looked over my services, if you still feel like I'm the best reader for you, then go ahead and contact me and we will schedule something for you as quickly as possible. I usually have uh, more of a waiting list, but right now I can probably get you in pretty quickly. I don't have much waiting list at the moment. So this is a good time to come in and get a reading quickly if you want. And let's see, what else? I guess that's it. Everybody have a great week. I'll see you all here next week. Peace out.